strange place. Who could have known this was on the Isle of Skye? Careful here. Something's not right. <coughs> Smells like a trap.
gods won't want you. More coming. I had this under control. Under control? Looks like you were about to get skewered. I can defend myself. You didn't need to go. I did it. You missed me. Let me rephrase that. You shouldn't have come. I know my presence makes things complicated. These people are attacking me because of you. I know. I know. Talk about this once they're dead? I should have been honest about my presence activating the artifact. I'm sorry. And I know me being here makes reaching the artifact harder. Harder? No one would be trying to kill me if you weren't here right now. I know. Trust me, you will need my help once we reach the artifact. These people are nothing compared to its power. I'm not getting rid of you, am I? Don't worry, I'll grow on you. I've seen mechanisms like this before. I'll get the light working, you direct the beams to those plates near the door. One down, one to go.
Finally. Those pots and weapons are so strange. They're from my land. What are they doing here? It's an illusion caused by the artifact. And you being near it. That mask looks unique. I've torn many of those masks from the faces of cultists. Even knowing their illusions, to see all these things from my... my... Home? I don't have a home. Not anymore. We make a good team. Ah, you're not so bad to work with, after all. Terrible at following orders, though. <laughs> Give me a little credit. It's my first time working with another person in... I don't know how many years. That must get lonely. It does from time to time, but it's the path I'm meant to walk. Anyway, I should get going. It's not good for me to stay in one place long. Thank you for your help. Truly. Wait. The Norse celebrate their victories, and since in the end, you did help. Why not come out for a drink with me? I don't know about that. It's not really good for me to be seen by too many people. If everyone drinks enough, no one will ever know you were here. All right. What can it hurt? Hopefully you're ahead tomorrow morning if we have a great time. Meet you at the Longhouse in Kildaraklan. See you there.
Lilith eats your floor, man. No clearer than Selva. He's waste too, gay. There you are. Ready for that drink? Let's head inside. What is it? There are... a lot of people. I haven't been to a party in some time. I guess I'm... nervous. It's not as though you're going in there alone. I'll be with you. <laughs> I guess you're right. Let's go inside. Ready for a drink? What about you? Ah. <laughs> hmm. I've always wanted to try meat. Can't be any worse than Marcus' wine. Evo, what do you say? We well, find out the real the with, Dora. with a little drink. Ah, I'd say you don't know what you're getting yourself into. I drank all the mead. That makes me the better Norseman. Better indeed. Congratulations. I haven't been this drunk in a thousand years. Huh? A thousand years? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, never mind. I should not have said that. Malaka. <laughs> Malaka. You really are drunk. Now you're just spouting nonsense. <laughs> no, no, it's a Greek swear word. It's malaka, malaka, laka, malaka, malaka. <laughs> That's it. You got it. Now, let me teach the you. The bride and the groom are here. Crashing a wedding? It was arrogant to assume these people were here to celebrate us saving their asses. Come, let's join in their revelry. Oh, wow. 
Aren't you the heroes who saved the island and our wedding? I did a little more than she did. But yes. We would love it if you both gave a toast at our wedding. <laughs> we hardly know you. What would we say? But your exploits have made our wedding a day to remember. Please regale us with your tale. I could be up for that. What about you, Eivor? All right. But if we're going to do this together, Cassandra, let's make it interesting. What do you suggest? A flighting competition, of course. Ah, never tried it myself. I should warn you, though, I've battled wits with great philosophers. Stop boasting and prove yourself. <clears throat> my day began the strangest way. An axe thrown at my head, intending to slay. There stood Eivor, hot-headed and brash. And there stood Cassandra, looking like an ass. Not too quick on her feet, is she? It took an ambush or two, and one dusty old temple for Eivor to see that I could be helpful. But somehow I've melted her cold Norse heart. It'll sadden me to see my new friend part. <laughs> Eivor did the heavy lifting, left the tracking job to I. In the end, we triumphed, chasing the nightmares far from sky. And to the bride and groom on this historic day, If your love survived this, nothing stands in your way. Hey! Oh, that was wonderful. You really made this a night to remember. It's been a while since I've been the center of attention. How did it feel? <laughs> Strangely familiar. I'm glad you invited me here tonight. It was nothing. No, really. Thank you. I needed this. More than I knew. What do you say we make that bride's day and get rid of that asshole? Don't you mean that Malacca? <laughs> Indeed. We actually saved it twice. All in a day's work. Oh. 
escape. Edith, did you come for the wedding? I couldn't miss it. My cousin is the bride. And of course, I should thank you. Mm. Clearly, you were able to help my people. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here celebrating. <laughs> I can't take all the credit. I had some help. True. Valka put you on this path after all. Was she right, by the way? Did you part ways with that girl? Randvi, as she foresaw? No. Ranvi was never on the Isle of Skye. Ah, well, even Valkar makes mistakes. Still, it's good you didn't need to say goodbye to a friend. What an unforgettable night. <laughs>